Hi, I'm Brian, and I love Hallmark Valentine's movies. I'm Brian, and I like Hallmark Valentine's movies. I'm Dan, and I despise Hallmark Valentine's movies. And this is the Deck, Deck the, the Hallmark, Hallmark Podcast. Podcast. God bless. Deck the Hallmark, it's this podcast. <laughs> Brandon and friends host this podcast. <laughs> we hope you like this jolly podcast. <laughs> Yes, oh, yes, yes. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Happy I, Tuesday to you. It already feels like a good day today, Brian. It's feeling like a really good day, everybody. Ready to go. Really? Everybody's ready. Exciting week. Um, it's not every week that we're going to get a, a Bry, Bry Guy for a double so movie double, feature. Right, double dose of Bry Guy mm-hmm. this week. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, we got you, asking. We got you double dose last week, but that was pre This is all in your lawyer stuff. Like, we can't afford you. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, occasionally yeah. you'll give us a break. Yeah. And be Once like, oh, I'll throw you guys a bone. Holidays are over yeah, yeah, yeah. for you guys, <laughs> unfortunately. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, <laughs> hey guys. Hey guys. I um I want to bring in Rig really quickly because I found I I mm. was list. I mean, oh, you actually listen to the podcast? Hold on. Time so time la- time, huh? no, what I mean is Good last you, week. Producer. Producer man. Last week. You get a producer and you're like, I don't have to listen anymore. I'm a hack. I'm just going to tell everybody I'm a hack. Wear a hack t-shirt. Here's my hack shirt. Hack shot. Jim Duggan. Yeah, that green green shirt. Uh, last week when we were doing the um, Wing Calls the Heart episode, uh, Rig, you told us that you were on sabbatical in Barbados. Is that ringing yeah, any bells? Yeah, Barbados. Barb, adios. I said adios to Barb and came on down here. No, nah, I don't think you should. Yeah, yeah. Barb it's, and I called it quits. So, <laughs> month oh, in Barbados. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, so you shouldn't be. You, you told <laughs> us, you told, uh, 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 Brian, this is probably news to you because you weren't on the, that episode, <laughs> mm-hmm. but uh, mm-hmm. he's on Shot. sabbatical. He's taking the month off from all of his all of his duties is what he said uh cool. and i just want an update on duty how that free. how that's going duty free in barbados how's that going Rick? yeah no taxes down here at all and also like things are going great uh i'm a little bit on delay which is <laughs> coincidentally what i say to the folks to bring me some drinks on delay on delay, on on delay. <laughs> how do you think that's going for me <laughs> I wouldn't again. I think you're going to be on sabbatical from Barbados soon. Uh, Barbados, that's all that matters. When do you get back? Never. Just kidding. March 1st. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So, is it hot? Be back before you know it. Are you sad that you picked the shortest month of the year to go well, on I mean, sabbatical? I do get four full weeks in Barbados, Brad. So I'm not missing much. And I found a new favorite drink that, 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 that Raul makes me down at the mm-hmm. bar. What's Raul makes? make you? My pants. All right. Okay. God bless, buddy. God bless you guys. Adios. On delay. All right. Delay. We'll check back on with you next week. Uh, Brian, uh, how are you doing, buddy? Yeah, I'm doing great. Yeah, I'm not as good it? as Rig, but no, I mean, uh, how was you your know. weekend? None of us ever get a four week sabbatical. Like, that's, that's pretty unheard special. Of. And yeah, he gets to keep his job, huh? That's right. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Iron class. Hey, guys. Yeah, Trace. Oh. I'm going to be on, on sabbatical next week. Where are you oh, going? Boy. I'm going to sabbatical, <laughs> New Zealand. <laughs> Sabbatical New Zealand. I don't think you're doing this how Bobby! Sabbatical Sabs! <laughs> I kind of like rigged it. <laughs> it's good. It's yeah. good. Sabbatical Sabs? Sabbatical Sabs! So in that one, there's two Bs and each each <laughs> side got one B. Bring me, bring me, bring me mostly Sabs! <laughs> <laughs> good. That's good. Yeah, March. Yeah. See you guys. Okay. See you in March. <laughs> Yeah, all I'm right. Sure, that's um, the last we'll hear from her. Guys, first love you wear a movie. Could go on sabbatical. Sabbatical. <laughs> she she could do it. She could. You could too. Could, wow, that's. <laughs> she could go on sabbatical. She literally does nothing now that Aaron produces the show. Mm. What what, what uh, Trace? What do you do? So you guys know a little, little uh, welcome area. Yes. Yeah. A little break room. I don't do that. There. Okay. Okay. I can tell. Yeah. Hey, you guys know you guys know your watch room. Yeah. Watch room. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't do that. Okay. Mm. What else we got here? <laughs> we got yeah. a studio. You guys know the studio? I yes. do. Yeah, I don't do that. Oh. Hey, you guys know the bathrooms? Yes. yes. Yeah. I don't do that. Okay. You guys know the office across I the think hall? We're good. Do, is there anything you do? I don't do that. Uh huh. You guys know the elevator room that we oh, that's yeah. locked? Yep. Left I alone. do that. Oh, that's why we oh, don't know. the elevator room. I ride our, the elevator up and down all day long. Not Just ride it? There's an elevator room. I'm the room. elevator guy. You're the Oh, Girl. really? What Girl. you say what floor? Yeah. There One are or only two. What, three floors in this building or four? Three? <laughs> it, two? two? Two maybe. There it's might only two. be two. two. And it's you two. ask what floor? Yeah. Are you a dummy? 
No, they are. They, no. Yeah. Whatever what? floor you're on, it's the other one. So maybe they are the dummies for I'm telling honestly her. not even getting paid for it. I just okay. stand by the number. And they tell me. All right. Great. Sometimes they tip me. You should get tips. For Sometimes that. they don't. Sometimes they tip you? Yeah. Mm. Like, hey, it's going to rain later. <laughs> the tip. Sounds more like weather, but sure. Tip. Well, maybe like a tip, like here's a, like it's going to. Yeah, t- tip is, yeah. Wear a coat would be a tip. It's going to rain later is not a tip. <laughs> Here's a tip for you. It's going to rain later. It's not, it's not, you could have said it. It's tax season. <laughs> good tip. That's good. It's not. not good Tips tip. with Trace. Come on. Uh, sweeter than Next chocolate. Mm. Sweeter than chocolate, everybody. Originally aired on uh, February 4th. Can you believe it? Uh, 2023. February. And it went a little something like this. Lucy Sweet, that's her name, uh, runs her family's chocolate shop. They're famous for their Cupid Shuffle. <laughs> no, the Cupid chocolate balls. Uh, they're gonna Shuffle. make you. They're gonna make you fall in love. Apparently, if you eat one, you fall in love. Her rent is about to go up a lot. The rent is too high, and uh, she's getting pretty nervous about that. Uh, we meet a TV journalist. His name is Dean. Dean is what I would call a gutcha journalist. He. Uh, does the ziggers gotcha 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 like a fisherman gotcha gotcha like i gotcha gotcha got him got semantics (laughs) yeah words do matter though in this room right and we're saying the same thing can you get on with it you're saying gotcha (laughs) gotcha gotcha i gotcha i gotcha Governor. <laughs> anyway, yeah, uh, anyway, his boss wants him to do a sweet little story about the Cupid chocolates shuffle. Uh, so he shuffles down to the bakery and is uh, almost hit by a car One driven this time. driven by Lucy. Uh, when he gets to the store, <laughs> what? No. <laughs> you said that like you got Ricky caught, Ricardo? like busted. No. <laughs> uh, when he gets to the store, he tells her that he wants to do a story about that. Also, I think you're a con artist, basically. Uh, so she kicks him out. Uh, his boss is like, hey, you're up for uh, becoming an anchor. And so I'm going to need you to be able to do the sweet stories so that I can go bring you to the board and be like, hey, look at this guy. He can do the the, the gotcha. And uh, also the sweets. And so he's like, okay. So he goes back. He explains the situation. Hey, I will spotlight your con artist store. And in exchange, it'll be a sweet little story. And I can show my boss that I can do that. So she agrees. And she's very uncomfortable in front of the camera. But then he, like, turns off the camera. But then turns it back on and does the whole, like, so just tell me about these pictures. Well, gotcha. Turns and turns. A little, she's a gotcha. Uh, gotcha. So uh, gotcha. turns into uh, a very sweet story. And his boss is like I'm liking this I'm liking this right here how about you we make it into a series uh, a love series a love you a love you Aaron Um, and it's a bunch of stories about the people they have like a wall of love at the can at the chocolate store Um, and uh, why don't you do some stories on those people and so he's like, fine. So he uh, asked Lucy to help him with this Lucy's like Lucy uh, Ricky Babalu. <laughs> um, and That's as much as we can do. Yeah, Those no more. Three I think words. we've even done too much. I think uh, maybe Lucy twice in one Babalu yes. is <laughs> too, mil- too much. So, uh, so she agrees to help him with this. Um, they're not liking each other. They get into some hard-hitting conversations like, why are you such a cynic? And why don't you eat your own chocolate balls? Um, and they keep hanging out. They keep telling the stories. Everything is going well. And then, you know, obviously the, the corners are beginning to turn beginning to turn some corners uh, when, it, when it comes to each other. The, turners, the corners are beginning to turn? Yeah. And so they, they you know, they start... They start liking each other. Okay. And uh, she ends up accompanying. She ends up going with him to. <laughs> you had it too. You just really? Gave yeah. Up she she it sounds ends up good. She ends up going to the company Valentine's party dance uh, with That's him. That's why we couldn't and, continue. And they dance. 
They dance some more. Everyone goes home. They're still dancing. They're having a wonderful time. Guys, just eat the chocolate. And then what what are we even doing here? What are we even doing here? Uh, It turns out that he is not just up for the anchor job here in this town of... West Coast. Uh, He's also up for a non-anchor job, but a job nonetheless in the big city of New York. Have you heard of it? NYC. NYC. Concrete jungle where dreams are made of. That's exactly right. His dreams, in fact. Um, and so she, he's like, hey, this is happening. I got a, uh, um, the, my boss wants to do a live hit, hit from the chocolate store where we eat chocolate. But bad news. I got an interview in New York. But I think if I play my cards right, I can go go to New York and make it back in time for the, the live hit. And she's like, you got to do what you got to do, pal, palerino. Um, the chocolate shop is taking off. Orders are flooding in. And it all is just too much for her. She's like, there's too much going on. This is not what the Cupid Shuffle was all about. Um, and so she like runs into the store and she's like, everybody leave. Um, she has had a hard time with this whole love thing. The reason why she's never had uh, one of her own Cupid balls uh, is because her dad and her mom fell in love after consuming the chocolate balls, and then he ended up dying, and his and the mom was sad, and so she's like, "It's not worth being sad just so that I can be in love for a while." But mom is nice enough to point out, "Hey, you're already you're pretty much a sad sack of a human being, so might as well have love along the way." And she's like, "We're well, slowly gun. Uh, guys, we're getting ready for the big live thing, and in comes our guy. He comes running in. Dean's like, hey, give me the thing. Give me the stuff. She walks in. She's got a dress on, and he's like, mm-hmm. Uh, they go live, and he's like, hey, uh, guess what? I really like you. And she's like, let's eat the real chocolate balls, not the fake ones. They eat them. They kiss big ones. Turns out he's going to stay right here in wherever. WC. WC. And they're going to have a wonderful time. Cut to them having one heck of a chocolate making time together, which leads to more kissing. The curtains close. And that, my friends, was sweeter Sweeter than than chocolate. We did it. We did do it. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to come back. We're going to break this movie down here on Deck Deck the Hallmark. They did it again. Yeah. Uh, Just a little early. It's okay, I was late. <laughs> Bye-bye, we're back. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Deck the Hallmark. We're talking about Sweeter Than Chocolate, the first movie of four in the Love You Airy series. Yes. Let's mm-hmm. talk. Uh, speaking of four, we have four segments here on Ooh, the podcast. Wow, that's really nicely done Thank there, you. Brand. Thank it's you. We have stuff. four segments here on the podcast. You pod- to Transition Camp last uh, week. <laughs> yes, I did. And it went really well It went for really you. well. It did. <laughs> yes, it did. <laughs> yeah. Do you, have, do you have a camp? You have I have a, a clip. Have a clip. Hi, everybody. Hey. Oh. <laughs> hey. It's your professors, DJ oh. Tammy. DJ and Tammy are here to stay. We are going to but tell anyway, you. Yeah, that's good one. Rule number one. Rule number one. Yeah. Use words like corners. Corners. <laughs> It was weird, but yes, it was uh, very helpful. Speaking of being very helpful, we have four segments oh, yeah. to help us talk through this movie. Oh, man, it's really bad. <laughs> We're going to start with a hot take where we share exactly how we felt about this movie without <laughs> delay. Let's start with you, Brian. Brian, what do you think about this movie, buddy? Oh, man. <laughs> The transition camp idea just kills me. It's a great just idea. Just Brent hopping off a bus, <laughs> just like, backpack on. Just just with a... With oh, a just want to learn how to segue suitcase better. Suitcase and a dream. He's got his microphone in his hand. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So, back to this. Back to business Cut here. to Brian giving yeah. his hot take. Here we go. I like this one. Uh, <laughs> this was right up my alley. Uh, a candy store. Magic chocolate. <laughs> The idea of, like, the bad guy, the jerk, who's his big thing is he's just skeptical. And so he's not, I like that idea, the skepticism thrown in there. I think that was a good idea, the way they did that. Unfortunately, there was a lot of shade thrown at milk chocolate in this movie. And it was (laughs) offensive. (laughs) Offensive. Okay. Erin is shaking her head. The milk chocolate shade. Um, 
I know that they're baiting people like me. And, and it's working. It's You didn't go I'm, to transition camp. I didn't go you to transition camp. I didn't go to how to take the high road camp. Uh, <laughs> different camp. Different camp. Yeah. Across the lake. No one, no one that's been to take the high road camp has ever been to transition camp. Do we know that? Yep. Wow. Fun, fun fact. Man. Do they have a dance maybe at the end of it? <laughs> Good. Uh, so this one, the way that they were throwing shade at Milchow, and I'm, I know that they do it to like troll and bait, and I'm going to take the high road. Speaking of high, what's the secret ingredient, MDMA, <laughs> in this chocolate? <laughs> because if you look at it through that lens throughout the movie, it's a different movie. <laughs> So that was stuck in my head for so I got that stuck in my head and I just kept thinking of that version of the movie and how funny that would be. <laughs> That's like a sidebar. That's for the non transition camp, later. the other camp. Yeah. I did take away like a very sweet message from this, pun intended. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I th when I was watching this and I know Lucy. this is this is probably more for me the, the my takeaway than f than they intended for the general public. But I took it as like Love is a muscle. It's like a muscle. Or it's like the crystals in the chocolate. And it's not a destination. Sort of like happiness. Like, oh, everybody's like, I want to be happy. I want to fall in love. Crystals in the chocolate? What are yeah. you talking about? The, talking about do crystals. you remember this part? Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the crystals yeah, I when I you're it. tempering yeah. the chocolate? Okay. Yeah. You have to, okay. You have to okay. make the chocolate higher quality better. You, you The crystals okay. melt. Okay, go. You cool down go. the chocolate. Well, go. this is part of it. This I know. Part. So it's like a muscle. So what? you work it. It's not like you fall in love and you're there. And that's, that's the destination. It is a process. And when you struggle, when you're in a relationship or when you're in love, you work on it and it gets stronger and it gets better and better. And throughout this movie, there were situations where like, oh, the engaged couple, like, oh, we're in love. We're all set. And then they had that little thing with the texting, which I thought was really funny. Brand, what's going on over here? <laughs> Brand cannot you can't even contain hold himself. So there was this, this theme, this thing that I took away from it, which was love is, it takes work. And so you're never going to get be in love. Do you and not just be know that? I know yeah, this. Brian but just learned here in the year of our Lord 2023. <laughs> We're just getting word. Yep. Love yep. is a muscle. It's, Back it's, to you, Brian. That's right. And so it wasn't just you know, a lot of it. I'm saying it worked well together for me. And so I liked it. I liked the movie a lot. And uh, the themes of all the different things going on work together. I feel like are it, you on? Are you? I, did I take in, a cupid? Yeah. Uh, so cupid. that's all. I just I liked it, and there were parts of it that I that really kind of you know landed really well for me. So yeah, clearly, uh, yeah. So that's it for me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> from transition camp. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, I like this movie fine. I'm, I'm sorry I'm, I'm late. How many times did Brand mention Cupid Balls in the synopsis? <laughs> Quite a few. Quite a few. I just want to make sure it got on there. It's on delay. Yeah. Slide to the left. I'm out of here. Yeah. Uh, I really, I like this movie just fine. I'm a big Eloise Mumford fan, even bigger fan of her sons. <laughs> and uh, all around good time. I, uh, you know, didn't learn any lessons, unfortunately. Uh, I don't think I've ever learned a lesson from one of these movies. Uh, I didn't even know that was the goal. Uh, but uh, but good, good to know, good to know Brian's over there learning lessons. Brian and I live uh, in a real world where uh, you know that love is work sure, and don't sure. need a Hallmark movie to tell um, you at age 40. But, I, been good to know. but I did have a, a fun time. Um, I like these two together. I thought that it, that it was really fun steamy steamies at the end um you know and magical chocolate balls that make people fall in love who's not who's not here for that uh dan sliding over actually. to you uh thanks bran um i did not learn a lesson nor did i like the movie um yeah i look it's not good uh they're very earnest they have good chemistry the chemistry between Dan Janot, J Janote, however we, Janot. What, where do we live? Janot, Janot yeah. Dan Janot and Eloise Mumford is off the charts. Um, but we've seen this movie before. The guy's baking the bread and it stops working because he's not putting love in it. The kismet cookies with the thing, it doesn't work for me. It's not a bit that works for me, never has. It's foggy on the details. Mm -hmm. um, but you know what? I, it did hit me. I mean, it was the Holy Spirit about an hour through it. I realized that like love is work. <laughs> you got that too. I got it too. I got it because I've known it. Oh, um, yeah. yeah, this movie was not great, but it was the best of the year so far, which is not high praise by any stretch, but I think we'd all agree with that. Best of the year so far. Glacier National, Three Wedding Veils, this movie, that those are your or Dog Lover's Guide to Dating. Yeah, that's those are your year. options. Yeah. This movie's the best by a long shot, but not good. 
So there you have it. There you go. Thumbs down. No, <laughs> I heard that. Up. I heard that as a thumbs up. Um, guys, let's talk about all the feels. Uh, Brian, all the lessons you've learned. Surely there was a feel. There was there, a, there a few feels actually. A, yeah, a small handful of feels. Uh, I got fall feels when they were in the market with the wonderful leaves on the ground. That was very nice. Uh, there was a scene where Gary, the cameraman, came over. Gary. At the, uh, <laughs> shout out, Gary, the cameraman, to uh, to Dean at the Valentine's Day gala. Gala. And he goes, uh, his intro to get into the scene was, hey, hey, hey. And I immediately said, what's going <laughs> yeah. on here? So that was a nice Save by the Bell reference. Yeah, of course. Um, and this was actually, this was based on a book, which we all love. We love that. Uh, written by Lizzie Shane. And did you know Lizzie Shane was a guest on the uh, Hallmark Book Club podcast with Panda? I did not of course know I that. How about that? So You knew that, right, Brain? Yeah. There's a there's a bunch of those episodes still out there to listen to. Those all of them. Club. Find it right yeah. now. Where so if you you're missing your podcast, you're missing Panda. That's where you're going to find him. Uh, in the past, yeah. he's not doing anything new. <laughs> Loves a muscle. Yeah. He's doing new stuff in thing. his life, just not a podcast. Yeah, nothing like, new. Like, he's doing the don't same make old it, stuff. Don't, don't make, make it, it like he's dead. Sound like he's not doing well, anything. He's doing stuff, he's just but an old not, folks he's not doing anything new. Which he is, but it's not like he's not doing anything in the old folks home. But he's. <laughs> we don't know he's not doing anything though he could be just no the same. he 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 does he does bingo two nights a week we know that for sure <laughs> um yeah oh, tight is oh, that so, it no my last one was just the the secret ingredient being bravery because i don't i can't think of another time where bravery was the secret ingredient usually it is love or something else but bravery i thought was a good secret ingredient that's all wow uh yeah. <laughs> is brian still on the show brain for now, <laughs> he's learning lessons. Bravery yep. is. I got to be honest. Who's this guy? What's this guy's name? The da- Black Dean? Dahlia. What's the guy's name in real life? Dan Janotti. Dan Janot. Janot. Yeah, Janot. Dan Janot. Uh, when when Janot, uh, after they kiss, it cuts to the the baking. The, they're gonna bake in the back room. And uh, <laughs> and he walk he walks behind her, and like uh, uh, grabs her from behind, and then they start like. Mm-hmm. Boy, howdy! I, 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 I don't know. I assume I like I'll give it a week, maybe. My guy, they just got off TV. They just kissed for the first time, and he's walking behind her, grabbing her from behind, and baking with her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If that didn't give you steamy, steamy feels, I literally don't know who you are, what planet you're from, uh, because boy, howdy, Jana, 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 yes, <laughs> Dan, he loves me, Dan, Jana. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I, I will say the last scene of this movie, the chemistry is off the charts, like very steamy scene to end this movie, Woo! um, and. Their chemistry is the only reason this movie even like holds together at all. So that that would be my only feels. Mm. Yeah. All right, let's uh, let's learn a lesson from our next uh, yeah. break. Uh, we're gonna come <laughs> back. We're gonna break this movie down with two more segments here on Deck the Hallmark. Hallmark. Whoa, 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 we're back. Hello. We have a fifth segment, just greeting card feels with <laughs> with Brian. Where he like works through like just basic human basic emotion, emotion and, and uh, <laughs> social interaction skill. Yeah, I found out in this movie that you're supposed to say hi to people when yeah, you see them. Greet crazy. them. <laughs> it's called a greeting. It's it's called like, a greeting. Loves like mutual. Like mutual you do back, things give for other take. people. Yeah. yeah. Uh, hi everybody. Welcome back to like the Hallmark. Um, it's a uh, it's a good day. It's a Tuesday. We're talking about the new movie of the week. Sweeter than chocolate. We are at the wait what part of the show. We're talking about what in this movie made us go wait what? And I'll start with you, Brian. Brian, what are you waiting and what are you wanting? So the mother says the the line, uh, no one over 30 prefers milk oh. chocolate. And again, and Janot's character, Dean. Says over 20. Over 20. So yeah. they're just real, like, twisting the knife on this. It's like, who are, wh- what? As I'm ch- literally eating Hershey Kisses. Yeah, yes. Just, my, <laughs> one of my favorite chocolates is a Hershey Kiss. Like, I yeah, just, that bag's gone, by the way. Oh, man. <clears throat> you hear that, Sheila? That bag is gone. <laughs> Thanks, uh, Sheila, for all that you send us. Yeah, absolutely. It's too much. Do also, you prefer milk chocolate over yes. dark chocolate? Dark chocolate? Yeah. Really? Generally, yeah. I mean, dark chocolate's great. It's delicious and all that. But if you put, you know, one of each in front of me, I'm taking milk chocolate huh. first. I'm honestly yeah. exclusively milk chocolate. Yeah. yeah, of course you are. 
I mean, it's anything true. that is the slightest bitter taste, you're out on. Yeah. Is this beer 4.2% ABV? <laughs> Blah. It's so bitter. Once the beer moves out of the root territory, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this beer not cider? <laughs> true. True. Uh, but mm. the the cupids in real life, the real candy, the cupid balls, yeah, they're they're made by uh, what is it called, the uh, Bessingers or Bessing Bissingers in St. Louis, Bissing, yeah, Bissingers, Bissingers, I've been sure. several I times. Bet. They are in real life milk chocolate. Yeah, it's so the the fact that they're just wonderful harp- too. Yeah, I I, I, I was going to I was going to were they no different? Oh, that would have been great. Okay. I was going to make some. Um, I did not have all the ingredients, and I did not have time this weekend. Maybe it was Bissingers. Really? Can we? Maybe just it was. Just continue. Just keep going. Uh, so the, f- they, the fact that they were really milk chocolate, and they just were digging at the dark chocolate, was like, who hurt? Which milk chocolate hurt the, the screenwriters? It was writers? a weird joke to bring back twice. Yeah. Yeah. Like, to, to bring back twice and to have different ages and to make fun yes. of those. Like, I thought it was a weird joke. I prefer dark chocolate if I'm going to eat chocolate, unless it's sure. a Reese's cup, which chocolate's just holding that peanut butter yeah, in there. Absolutely. Like, let's be honest. Absolutely. But I I thought it was a weird joke. Yeah. People all over the world love milk chocolate. Absolutely. It's like, her, ask the Hershey's candy bar company. They don't just make money off of people under 20 years old. We have them on the line. Her, Dan Hershey, are you there? Uh, Dan, yeah. can you confirm nor deny... Or deny. Yes. <laughs> Confirm or deny the fact that people under 20, uh, over 20 don't like milk chocolate. Interesting question. Uh, it all happened in the cornfields in 1974. I saw a light. It came closer. It sat so down. This is not about I so went into the, last the UFO. Time we had him on, he did the same Dude, thing. I went into we the UFO. We do not need to hear oh. about your UFO experience. Well, I was that abducted. Is not, that's not the question. I was abducted, Dan. Yeah. You, I did not ask if you were abducted. You did. You can tell. I didn't. Take it to the tape. Confirm or deny. Take it to the tape. Milk chocolate under 20 only. That's all I asked you. Good question. It all happened back in 1974 at Cornfields. Let me try this version. Brand, Go ahead. Dan. Bran, are you there? Yes. Okay, good. Are you want to ask a question? You want to let me go ahead? I'll let you go. Okay. Dan, yeah. uh, have you ever been abducted? <laughs> a milk chocolate is fine uh, for most people. Thought that would get it done. So Great. That See, was well we done. That was well played. It. Yeah, I'm glad we figured that out. Uh, the hot chocolate. It was it, the messenger they did sponsor. No, it was messenger. They had wow. a Hallmark uh, yeah. uh, advent calendar. That's right. Oh, that's very cool. Yeah. So it's good. So stuff I then. bet they've been sponsored. They're sponsoring mm-hmm. the Hallmark too. Mm-hmm. That's happening. Yeah, that's great. Good for them. Good for them. The hot chocolate cart down by the quote unquote river walk, <laughs> where they tucked the hot chocolate cart into the darkest, creepiest corner yeah. of the uh, the walk that they could, which I feel like we've seen in Come like get murdered. Have yeah, a cup exactly. Of hot cocoa. Like, I feel like as soon as they moved, the characters moved out of the scene. The forensic files just move right in. And or cold case or whatever, <laughs> like <laughs> true crime show was being filmed at that same spot. Uh, Lucy Sweet said that. All right, this is <laughs> this gets complicated, and it's like a not a hot button issue, but I know Alonzo was screaming at his TV over this little fact. Okay, Lucy Sweet says the cocoa beans she uses are a blend that she creates from Ecuadorian and Argentinian beans. I think what she meant was cacao beans because they're two different. <laughs> They're, they're, they're sort of, there's an argument there, right? Or there's cacao is like the seed. Cacao, cacao is the seed, the, the bean in its rawest form. And cocoa typically is like the powder, the processed Correct. cocoa powder. In this movie, I'm going to. She's gonna not was, even in this movie. Okay. Krakow. Yeah, Krakow. No, that's really good. It's good stuff. That's great. Aaron Krakow. Yeah. So I assume just to, so everybody's working on the same level that when she says cocoa beans, she's talking about cacao cocoa, whatever the raw form is, not the powder at all. Just to clear that up, because when you say cocoa, I assume the powder. Anyway. You want to push up your glasses while you give oh us man. a fun It's going to get, it's gonna gonna get worse. A, Brian has a tight 90-minute presentation. There's no PowerPoint. It's one of those felt boards that he flips mm. over. It's got all the information <laughs> you could need on chocolate so, in its many forms, yeah, beans, seeds, right. milk. That's all there is. They're just beans and yeah, seeds. That's, yeah. only on the, so, uh, that's only on Bramble Jam Plus. That's right. you got to yeah, subscribe for this. That's a very high level. So she's using them synonymously. We have to assume that. <laughs> Unfortunately, when she bought... Her beans in the market earlier in the movie, the sign on the stand said Venezuelan cocoa seeds, not Argentina, not, not Ecuador. Ecuador. Yep. So 
Uh, hopefully the that's a problem. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's why a, name a, two countries if it's mm, <laughs> if one of it, them isn't going to be or, where you're going to. So buy maybe from. they're in the back of the cart. Yeah, of the, yeah, yeah. But that was one that just you know you can't do that. And it looks like she also bought them one pound at a time. Still <laughs> cocoa beans. Huh? Still. <laughs> yes, still in the beans. <laughs> uh, but the last one, um, and this is a big one, and this one sort of shattered. I I still like the movie, but it sort of shattered the whole plot of the movie. Oh, okay. At one point, she's looking at her yearly spreadsheet. Back to the spreadsheets. She's look on the screen. They show her yearly sp- annual budget, yep. right, with figures, with numbers. Oh no! And so she I did not read these. Well, somebody did. <laughs> so you just sit right there and get ready here with Mr. Math over here. I did the math. You don't have to do it. Unfortunately, so she revealed what she said was there, her rent was increasing sixty two percent every month. Every month on the spreadsheet, her total rent was sixty thousand dollars for the year so five thousand dollars a month okay so five grand a month that's right 62 percent of that add 3100 a month so it's going up to 8100 8, correct month. so let me, this is what we have for total income for the year 414,000 fixed ex, fixed expenses 280,000 variable expenses 15,000 so her income minus expenses her profit for the year 116,000 yeah okay her rent. You didn't would, want to give us a graph so we could put it for the fine people on Philo. I I have the picture. I, yeah, we should have done we this should. in show prep. I if do you're have watching on screenshot. Philo. You're going to see yeah. Brain and or Brain and I just try not to fall yeah, asleep. Yeah, but yeah, go yeah. ahead. So it's an additional thirty seven thousand two hundred dollars a year, which yeah. would bring her profit down to seventy nine thousand, which is still a margin she could absorb. Yes. So her her rent increasing is not push putting her out of business. Is yeah. the point of it? She can absorb that. It's a hit. But she's still profiting, assuming that in, in her spreadsheet there, her salary... And things have gone through the roof. Absolutely. I think, yeah. uh, I so think, prices it, I think it depends, Brian, because mm. uh, Dan and I talked about this. What she says... She's, what she says is absurd. Is that it, what she says yeah. is that her rent is going to go up 62%, 62% every month. month. Yes. Now, says. if she's getting a 60% oh, you increase mean, no, month no. upon month, then she's over then a million, we have a problem. No, a million no. dollars a month. Then we have a problem. In the, in the letter, it says 62 a month based on the... It doesn't say anything about like increasing each month. You paused and read the letter yeah, as well. I have yeah, a picture of, of it too, of course. This it's going to take you four, four hours, hours to, to read It took me a long time to watch yeah. this movie. I stopped and watched <laughs> videos on chocolate making process. Uh, to this is out, why you can only dude, do one a week. It's because we literally two would just bankrupt. Dude, I was exhausted see, after. You should have seen. You, yeah. Brian was Google searching "Ken Love work" with one person <laughs> doing all the work. Oh man, no? I had a therapy call his halfway love through. Work? Is love real? So what is love? What is, Maybe so I watched me. Night of the Rocks. Man, it was the whole it thing. Was the whole thing. That was a. But I just don't think she. It wouldn't have crushed her business. Is the point? If it's a sixty-two percent increase in her profit margin, was that it would not? That's I right. would still be looking for somewhere else to go. If yes. someone told me the rent was going up sixty-two percent, yeah. Step one: start searching for a new lease. Immediately, yeah. yeah. Immediately, yeah. Well, step one: you say we need to talk. Yeah. You walk, you walk, sit, sit, sit down, down. It's just, just to talk. talk. Yeah. You smile politely back right at on you. through. Smile you politely back at you. To, you stare politely, politely right, right on through. through. There's some, some sort of window, window to the right. right. But you after that, <laughs> he goes left and you stay right. That's right. Between the lines. Then you look um, up the is that it? Yeah. Where'd you go wrong? Um, uh, I, lo- I lost a friend. Some uh, You might be wondering where. Somewhere, Somewhere along, along. In the bitterness? In the bitterness. I'd have stayed up with you all night. Really? Yeah. Had I known. What? I was able to. I got a couple. Uh, they're in the back working on chocolate. And you hear someone walk <laughs> in and just go, Hello! <laughs> yeah, in a, yeah, in yeah. a panic. <laughs> it sounds like it is not Did okay. someone walk in a fr- like from an accident? Yeah. Someone call someone. I need help now. It's Jimmy Stewart over there. Of all of all the it's of all bit, the yeah. of all the ADR takes to go with you and with Hello! Is anyone there? Um Guys, I appreciate we're you know, we're filming for TV. I appreciate we're gonna put the little overlay onto the shot to show you that this is a camera got like you know sure. little fun things yeah, and battery whatnot. power of course now i do yeah. want to give a shout out to this uh card that they're recording to that has 85 minutes left on the card mm-hmm. and has been recording over 15 hours of footage <laughs> yeah that card is massive it's a big card 
or just really bad quality video. <laughs> the girl would be shocked when they go to the old post production room. <laughs> um, they go to this this uh, Valentine's dance ball uh, for the company, and um, they're getting ready to dance. The slow song comes on. She's got this sparkly sack that she's been holding around, and she they're talking to uh, a friend of his from the company. Dean from no, 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 no. Dean's talking to the his cameraman. His, right? his, yeah, 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 yeah. And it's like, hey. We're going to go dance. Can you hold my sparkly sack? And they hand it to the guy. They go off to dance. And then they dance the rest of the <laughs> night. That I can only imagine that poor guy. Yeah. How long do you think that guy stood there holding it? Uh, so they're going to do another song. Okay. Uh, yeah. Everyone's going. Everyone's going. <laughs> Where do you want me to leave it? Where do you want that poor guy was just stuck holding that the rest of the night. Um, Always the bridesmaid dress. Yeah. Right. So she wakes up and she has over 700 orders. Yeah, almost 800. Almost 800. Yeah. Yep. And I would say that is when, when you go into the office that day, that is an inopportune time to leave to just have a what's going on with your life conversation yeah. on a bench. Mm -hmm. yep. Not the best time. No, Not no. the best time. You got almost 800 orders to fill. Dean walks in, you say, hey, Dean, just send it in a note or something yep. like that. We'll talk. I got 800 orders to fulfill, Dean. Can't go walking and talking on a bench. <laughs> Speaking of this day, 800 orders, the store is also still packed with people that for some reason are holding their cash and waving it in the air. Everyone has one as if, cash store. As if it's like an auction system. Yes. I've got one cupid ball. Do I get five? Yeah. Five. Do I get ten? Like, what's going on? What is going? Why are you guys all? Everyone was given exactly one cash to hold. Everyone's yeah. got one up in the air. Everyone. Hey, hey me. Like everyone pays in cash. Me. You know how it goes. Uh, last but not least, I uh, want to give a shout out to the sad. This guy just decided I'm not going to take the job in the big city. He goes to do the live hit at the store. He picks up the mic, and on this mic is the saddest looking logo square. You oh, know, how on the really news, bad. they had the square around the microphone mm -hmm. with the logo this looked like it was a wooden block <laughs> around it with like the smallest little logo i've ever seen in my life and it's at that point where i look at that and i go should have taken the new york job that's right yeah <laughs> should should have gone with the your side should have gone with new york there's only so much you can do here unfortunately dano i don't know if he should take the new york job because news 55 is a local news channel that owns an entire skyscraper <laughs> um guys I, I don't know if you know this but local news News stations don't own much office space. But they anymore. have Valentine's Galas, right? They do they, hold that? company dances. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a news station that owns an entire sky, not one floor, an entire skyscraper, mm, yeah. and throws company events where they encourage their employees to dance together. <laughs> I don't I don't know about that company. Um I also have another question about the company, which is this is uh I guess is, are they bad at their job? Because we find out the day of the live one that they're going to do, that they have lost mm. all of the footage. The reason they need to do this interview with the mom, right? Yeah. That Eloise Mumford's like, mom, I don't want you interviewing it because like Eloise Mumford's upset because she thinks her mom's been miserable because the love of her life died. And then her mom gets to give this sweet story about blah, blah, blah. Like I would have rather loved and lost than not loved at all. And the reason that they have to do that, and I want to be clear, is, is that according to this dude from the news station, all of the, the footage that they've shot of all of these people telling their stories about the Cupid balls. I think just the last one. It's just the last one? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because yeah. they've been doing it every day leading so up. It's, oh, right, right. But right, they right. still, they've lost it. They lost it. Technical it's issue, bad. yeah. It's a technical issue. Hey, we've been there. Yeah, we no. never. We would never. Not today, at least. Um, at the most, especially at the most, these Cupid chocolates have have caused for forty couples to fall in love. For like the best That's we right. can fathom of all the stories we could gather, I doubled it. Mm -hmm. Forty, and and they're selling hundreds of these a day. Well, they do, but they just started selling the balls. Well, they're selling hundreds a day, and they make it clear that it takes an open mind. It's not like there's some yeah. secret potion for the chocolate. The chocolates are made like bravery. chocolates are made. You have to have some bravery or, or an open mind. Mm. So why is she never wanting to try one? 
Like if all you have to do is be oh, like, yeah. these are stupid, who cares? It's true. Like clearly that people are buying these not just to fall in love. Well, what's the deal with the aversion to what's the deal with the aversion? <laughs> what's the deal with the aversion to these chocolates? I just eat them. I, I don't like just what, to be safe. See just better safe is. than sorry. Yeah. Um, mom is looking at places to rent that cost $7,000 a month. I, Really? Why? Yes. Like, not like in, <laughs> in the big city. Economy? <laughs> like, houses out in the town. Mm. Like, in small town, there's no way one ranch house has cost you 7000 a month to we rent. We looked at Denver, Colorado. We went to Denver, Colorado just to look. We were like, that's that real estate market's crazy. And the houses there, we like, we well, found one near that. Yeah. I mean, this is pages and pages of six, $7,000 a month houses, which is insane. Um, she walks in. Maybe the and, whole town's going up 62%. Yeah, maybe <laughs> the whole town. Like, and that wouldn't even make it happen. But yeah. She walks in, and the chocolate shop is bumping. Like, just crazy. And she's like, why are there so many people in here? And her mom says, News 55 released the ad for the live feed. Mm. So the reason that the, the chocolate shop is wall to wall with people is because they saw a commercial that tomorrow they were, they would be live from the chocolate shop. Yeah. Tomorrow's newspaper today. So all of these like pieces they've done haven't brought crowds like this, but they see an ad that it's going to be live tomorrow. So they have to go and get in a long line today yeah. Maybe the, no one watches the local news, but maybe the commercial aired during like Monday Night Football. But, so no one saw any of these pieces, and then they just saw this one ad. And they're like, "We got to get down there asap." Yeah, it didn't make any sense at all. I don't watch the local channels for anything other than sports. It's possible if it ran during the right thing. Mm -hmm. Hawk so, law. So they've missed everything else before it, and yeah. and even if you've missed everything, this chocolate company is going live tomorrow. It's not enough to get you to the <laughs> store, right? It's a weird thing. That's a weird bit. Yeah. That's all I got. Uh, it's time for what the homework is part of the show. We wonder what could have been. Maybe we still have. Brian, what are you still mm -hmm. wondering about, buddy? Yeah, something I was wondering about was, again, back to the uh, cacao slash cocoa beans. Um, <laughs> so they're... they're Chocolate, chocolate, <laughs> chocolate. She she leaves at one point. She has to leave her store because she's running low on cocoa beans. She says so. She's gonna run out and get some more. And I have to like a place like that. I assume they would get raw beans yeah. and make do the whole process themselves because they want control stem to stern, if you will, stem to stern of the chocolate sure. yeah. process. But it seems like she's just running out and grabbing like roasted cocoa beans off the shelf for her chocolate. And I just, it just didn't, I wish they picked a different ingredient. Why would she, they're making their own chocolates start to finish, right? I guess that's my question because it didn't make sense that she would run out and buy raw beans because it would take too long to make the chocolate from them. So she has to be buying roasted beans, right? So it now just, we, we were dealing some, with some serious inconsistencies. I would say that's, that's a little bit of an inconsistency or a problem. Sure. A pro yeah, there's a problem yeah. there. So we're just wondering what up with that? What, what up, up with, with that? that? What up with that? Um, I, uh, yeah, you mentioned it, Brian, but there is a coffee cart on a weird path <laughs> yep. in the middle of the woods where there's like just strings of like lights yep. that on one side are all white, but in the trees, they're all red, which it took me a second to realize why they would all be red. I was like, is this like blood? But no, Valentine's Day, I got it. But this coffee cart, the, the path is not big. No. So like, it's like enough. It's like imagine Dan, if you're like going for a run on the Swamp Rabbit Trail, and there's a coffee cart on the trail. <laughs> yeah. Like you got a picture of it. That's minuscule. You can barely walk by that we'll thing. See. Barely, hardly get by that. that thing. It's no taking way. up the path. And yeah. like, how do you get there? What's that guy's deal? How did he get there? Yep. What's his deal? Who approved this? I, it, uh, lots yeah, of does questions. Does he have a permit? Does he have a, yeah, does does he have a permit? I don't see Great one in question. this picture. Great we, should, question. we could have had more permits yeah. in this movie. Boy. Dan? What a missed opportunity. Yeah, so my question is, is that the mom tells this story about falling in love with Eloise Mumford's dad and then him passing away and her not regretting any of it. And, and Eloise Mumford's whole thing is, is if this chocolate really works, like I don't want to be in that situation. Mm -hmm. Can her mom fall in love again? Ooh, a good question. Can, can she? Does she want to? Is she pursuing that, or is she willing to be open to that, or is it a 
my my long lo- you know lost love is gone and and never again. Was it me or did was did it seem like there was a glimmer of a part of a scene where she and the cameraman yep. were kind of very doing a briefly thing. looked like yeah. some sparks there. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I yep. lost all the footage, but I found you. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh. I uh, I found love in a hopeless place. Wow. Yep. Interesting. Uh, guys, we did everybody. Congratulations. First love you movie in the books. And that leads us to another book entry of Double Decker of the Week. Double Decker of the Week. Oh, my oh, God. Whoa. New year. Same us. Same Double Decker of the Week. BrambleJamPlus.com. Deck the Hallmark Plus tier or higher. Panda's fighting somebody over here. Uh, guys, I just, you know what? I'm fighting the old me. Do you know what else? New what? me, new That's look. Right. Die to self, Panda. Same Don't what? fight it. Just die to it. No, 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 no. Some kind of zombie. New me. Uh, here's the thing. Is this week's Double Decker is the best dress Double Decker. Oh, my goodness. You know who it is? exactly who it is. It's Chad Maurice. Oh, Chad. my gosh. Yeah, I mean, Chad. nary a day goes by without tie, suspender, and hat. I mean, I'm just saying. I want to be Chad when I grow up. I mean, we all what do. A style. We what all a style. Do. What a look. Chad Maurice, our double decker. I week. don't know what else I could possibly need to know about Chad. I mean, but yes. I feel like I, I know a good bit, but... Uh, what do, what well, do you got? I mean, it, it, just a man of many talents. I think we can all agree about that. Sure. Uh, the other thing is that you don't know about him really into ham radios, and it's just a wonder. I mean, he's so good at it. He takes the ham, sticks a radio component in it. It's wonderful every single time. He gave gave me a gift of it. So it's like a honey-baked ham? Yep, shoves a radio right in there. It's a ham radio. What does that do for the radio? Oh, the reception, the hand out of control. Set. It does. It does smell a little strange after a while. Now, I I, I want to make sure I have this right, Trace. You said we have a clip of listening to one of our radio sponsors, uh, W E L K, which is yeah. Welk. I don't know why, <laughs> and it, we we have a, a a snippet of them outside of the ham radio, and then the same snippet in the ham radio. Yes. Okay. Well, how did you get that? First of all, you know. Okay. All right. W-E-L-K, the Piano. friend. Hey, everybody. It's me, Tony. I'm Dale. And this is our show. Cool Breeze. Welcome. And now it's now here's inside the ham. W-E-L-K. Hey, everybody. My name is Tony. And this is Dale. And this is our show. Cool Breeze. Cool Breeze. That is better. Wow, and there's a third person. <laughs> I mean, that ham radio ham is going to take off. Ham radio enhances. It's stuff you could never it's hear. It's unbelievable. Like, get the hallmark through the ham radio. Oh, unparalleled. oh man. Yeah, we're not even a radio station. That would be unbelievable. <laughs> but we are on a lot yeah, of radio yeah, stations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A ton of them. So, like, you, we've been calling them out all year. All year. That's exactly mm-hmm. right. Well, congratulations, Chad. That sounds like a great Thank business you. For, for you. you. Uh, well, back to you guys. <laughs> Fantastic. Thanks, Panda. Yeah, that's good stuff. Uh, a quick reminder, don't listen to us on the ham radio. Watch us on the Philo. If you are looking for a way to watch us and see Brian do what he did all episode, uh, philo.tv slash DTH to watch us. That's the best way to do it. Ham radio, close second. Close <laughs> second. Uh, we'll be back next time with another one. Until the members first wish you a Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Deck the Hallmarks of Bramble Jam podcast is produced by Aaron Shea. What? For more information on Deck the Hallmark, you can go to DeckTheHallmark.com. For more information on the Deck the Hallmark family, you can go to BrambleJamPlus.com. Deck the Hallmark is presented by Philo TV. For a free trial of Philo, go to Philo.tv slash DTH. You're about to hear some ads that help keep the lights on here in the old studio. Thanks for listening or don't listen. It's really up to you at this point. It's at the end of the show. I mean, you're listening to me. Hi. But here they come. I promise they're coming. Yep. Here they are. Happy day.